Magma. Pokemon Facts According to many depictions, Magbees, Magmars, and Magmortars look like a bunch of melting ducks and mated with flying decals on the sides of 18-wheelers. Their butts are also attached to where their forehead should be, so watching them defecate in the wild would make for a fascinating study. Unfortunately, we'll never get a chance to witness it because these Pokemon are said to reside within active volcanoes, bathed in molten lava. Our only exposure to these creatures come to us in the form of crude drawings made by alleged witnesses. Rumor has it that Magmars rarely travel outside their habitats, and that the last time one of them came down from the mountains, they created a trail so hot that it set a dozen villages ablaze. It's been said they keep to themselves ever since then in fear of causing even more irreparable damage to their neighbors, which made it that much harder to believe they even exist to begin with. Natural history museums have mock displays of hypothetical Magmar skeletons because they've never been able to uncover any real ones. Everything we know about these creatures come from unverified witness accounts that date back centuries. But more importantly, they look like they were designed by orphans who obsess over fire trucks, which gives credence to the theory that these creatures don't exist. Nobody thought an animal with an anus on its face could possibly be real. So a bunch of skeptical elites put up rewards for pictures of Magmar. It started off as a goof, but it was enough to entice thousands of people who set off to their nearest active volcanoes in search of these Pokemon. Unsurprisingly, this has led to considerable amount of death. They were too ill-equipped to make their way to the depths of these volcanoes. Most of them just melted, vanished from existence before they could even glimpse the bottom. Far too many lost their lives to take snapshots of these melting bondage ducks that may or may not even exist. An elderly man who wanted to prevent any further tragedies decided to pretend to be Magmar and have people take pictures of him. He designed an elaborate costume and even made sure that the butt and the forehead could take poops on command. So many pictures were taken, which prompted the rich elite to take action and verify the existence of the Magmar in question. The elder, in an effort to keep the ruse going, grafted the costume to his skin, making the disguise inseparable from his body. After verifying the authenticity of the quote-unquote creature, the rich elites then captured him. He was used as an attraction and paraded around the world as the only known Magmar on record. At some point, the elder thought the ruse had gone long enough, but he couldn't bring himself to tell the truth. He couldn't bear the thought of more young people throwing their lives away to prove the existence of some dumb Pokemon. So his mental health gradually diminished, until he started to believe that he was Magmar, and behaved accordingly. This unsung hero had sacrificed his own sanity to keep the truth hidden. Forever. I'm a pre-made pie crust, and this has been another episode of Pokemon Facts. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more factual Pokemon facts. Have a wonderful... Pokemon Day.